So the machine is our performance this year and it's basically following a woman who feels oppressed by men in the 1920s in New York and she struggles with a lot of mental issues and combats kind of violence in relationships. But I play the telephone girl who is the main character alongside of the young woman and she's like her friend, a very frivolous kind of 1920s girl, really getting into the 1920s, the roaring 20s. She's into like the alcohol, the forbidden and yeah, it's really great to play someone like this because she's so fun. It's very expressionistic. We've got nice lighting effects, we've got shadow play, we've got uh, overhead projection, like old-fashioned OHP projection. Yeah, and it's, it's coming together, finally, <laughs> after a lot of hard work in a, in a socially distanced situation, which has been quite challenging. We've had to work just on one day a week so we can be bubbled and keep everything safe. Uh, we've kept our social distance. We've been visored the whole time. We have to work on uh, how we stage the thing. And we've had to become a bit more abstract, uh, but it's been quite effective, so. So I play the young woman, which is one of the lead roles that has been divided into five in the last two scenes where she's in court and then she gets the death penalty. I think taking part in this production is really the aesthetic, like the 1920s, learning a lot of background information about the characters, what the world was like then, you know, psychological attitudes, ethical issues. I think it's just been fascinating to really get involved in something that has a complete mask over it. You know, you're transporting yourself back into the 1920s. And I think for me, that's been the best experience ever because we obviously weren't there, but to get into that role, has just been really amazing for me. So the opportunities at Huddersfield are amazing. The fact that we have these studios to perform in and the space that we have, we have the teachers and lecturers who know so much about the subject, just as passionate as we are as students. In terms of professions beyond the performing arts, a performing arts degree or a drama degree will prepare you enormously for this because usually you have to work in a team and this is what we do all the time here. You have to work to a deadline. You have to be creative, you have to be really uh, improvisatory about if something goes wrong, how the heck do you manage this? You know, how, what with the resources that we have as well. So it's all right having blue skies thinking, and we encourage all of that. But when it comes down to it, making theatre is about the material reality of what's happening on the ground. So you work with the materials you've got and the materials you can afford, and you work in teams, and you work creatively, and you can think on the spot. And those are the sort of skills that employers really like. So drama at Huddersfield is so fascinating to be a part of. There's a lot of facilities here that you don't realise you have access to. And I think it's a great way to be involved in something you absolutely love and study it as a degree. I think it's just the best of both worlds, really. My advice would be just to really take it all in. Be prepared for anything. Don't be embarrassed because everyone's in the same boat. Be prepared to really dig in with everyone. You're with all the other actors and you work in as an ensemble, as a team. And also be prepared for hard theory work. A lot of people coming into drama think, oh, it's just practical, but there's so much more. I think you've just got to really like dive in there and make sure that you're getting the most out of every lesson because you're paying for it, it's for you, and it's what you want to do in the future. So why not just make the most of every lesson?